before we start talking about chemical bonding, we need to make a clear distinction between two types of compounds. So remember, a compound has two different types of elements. For example, H2O is a compound because it has hydrogen and oxygen in it. Carbon dioxide is a compound. Sodium chloride is also a compound. Magnesium sulfate, that's Epsom salt. Okay. So we're going to see that uh, the, there's the two types of compounds are ionic, and an ionic compound is always a metal ion. And to make a distinction, we'll say cation. And we can think of this T to remind us that it's a metal with some positive charge. So I'll just put a little in there. And then the non-metal is also an ion, but that's going to have a negative charge. So an A-N-I-O-N anion, and so I'm just going to put in for non-metal, and it will be some minus, uh, that N and that N shouldn't be the same, I'll just put minus Y. So those charges could be anything, and if we remember what we talked about with sodium chloride, sodium, the atom, likes to lose one electron, and when it does so, it turns into sodium plus one. So this is the sodium ion. And in all reality, sodium doesn't lose an electron, but a non-metal, like a chlorine atom, steals an extra electron. So it can do so from sodium. So this would be Cl minus one. And the name of this becomes chloride. We don't say a chlorine ion, we change the ending to chloride. And then since this has a positive one charge, that cancels a negative one charge. So the formula for an ionic compound from these two ions would be uh, sodium plus one and chlorine minus one becomes sodium chloride. We are going to spend a great deal of time talking about ionic compounds in chapter 5. Okay. The other type of compound that we're going to focus on in chapter 10 is a covalent compound. And a covalent compound has two or more non metals. And the non-metals, recall, are those atoms that are on the right-hand side of the periodic table. So the distinction between metals and non-metals is this bold line. So everything to the right of this line is a metal, and hydrogen, I mean, I'm sorry, everything to the right is a non-metal, and hydrogen is also a non-metal, so we have to remember that. So there are no charges involved here. Nothing has a charge. These are not ions. Okay. So if we go back up to this list here, these two compounds would be covalent because they have nonmetals only. Those are covalent compounds. These two compounds would be ionic. And the quickest way to tell by looking at a formula is if the first atom written is a metal. Sodium is on the left-hand side of the periodic table. So everything to the left of this bold stair step, except hydrogen, is a metal. Magnesium is right here. So this magnesium sulfate would also be an ionic compound. And again, for this chapter 10, we're going to be focusing on non-metal, non-metal compounds like carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide, sulfur trioxide, 
So there are simple non-metal, non-metal compounds that we're going to be caring about. And these type of atoms share electrons to uh, gain the magic number eight electrons around them. So there is no stealing of electrons going on. There's no loss or gain of electrons. That type of compound is ionic. So we won't be talking about that until we get to chapter five. 